Welcome to our comprehensive series on electricity regulation for transmission utilities worldwide. In this first video, we'll introduce you to the intricate world of energy regulation and the vital role of key performance indicators or KPIs in ensuring efficient, reliable and sustainable power transmission across the globe. What are transmission utilities? Before we delve into the complexities of regulation, let's clarify what we mean by transmission utilities. These are the companies responsible for transporting high voltage electricity from generation plants to distribution networks. Imagine them as the highways of the electricity world moving power across vast distances before it reaches your home or business. Transmission utilities operate massive networks of high voltage power lines, transformers and substations. They play a crucial role in maintaining the stability of the power grid, balancing supply and demand in real time, and ensuring that electricity can be transmitted efficiently over long distances with minimal losses. The importance of regulation. Transmission utilities are natural monopolies, meaning it's not economically viable or practical to have multiple competing transmission networks in the same area. This lack of competition is where regulation becomes crucial. Regulators step in to ensure that these utilities operate efficiently, reliably and fairly, striking a delicate balance between various stakeholders, consumers, ensuring affordable and reliable electricity supply. Utility companies, allowing for reasonable returns on investments and incentivizing efficient operations. Generators, providing fair and non-discriminatory access to the transmission network. Society at large, meeting broader goals like environmental protection, energy security and economic development. Regulation aims to mimic the effects of competition in a monopoly environment, pushing utilities to improve their performance, invest in infrastructure and innovate, all while keeping costs reasonable for consumers. Key performance indicators, or KPIs, at the heart of effective regulation are key performance indicators. KPIs are quantifiable measures that demonstrate how effectively a utility is achieving key business objectives. For transmission utilities, these typically cover a wide range of areas, including reliability of supply, operational efficiency, financial performance, environmental impact, customer service, infrastructure development and maintenance, innovation and technological advancement, market facilitation and cybersecurity. KPIs are not just numbers on a spreadsheet. They play a crucial role in shaping the performance and direction of transmission utilities. Accountability, KPIs hold utilities accountable for their performance. They provide clear, measurable targets that utilities must meet or face consequences, incentives. Many regulatory frameworks use KPIs as the basis for financial incentives or penalties. Utilities that exceed their targets may be rewarded with higher allowed returns, while those that underperform may face financial penalties. Transparency KPIs provide clear, comparable data for regulators, consumers and investors. This transparency helps build trust in the regulatory process and allows for informed decision-making by all stakeholders. Continuous improvement. By tracking performance over time, KPIs help identify areas where utilities need to improve. They can highlight inefficiencies, bottlenecks, or emerging issues that need to be addressed. Benchmarking KPIs allow for comparisons between different utilities, both within a country and internationally. This benchmarking can drive competition and the sharing of best practices. Policy alignment. Well-designed KPIs can help align utility performance with broader policy goals, such as increasing renewable energy integration or improving energy security. In this series, we'll be examining KPIs used in five major jurisdictions, each with its unique approach to regulation United Kingdom regulated by the Office of Gas and Electricity Markets, or OFGM. The UK has been at the forefront of innovative regulatory approaches. Their RIO model, which stands for revenue equals incentives plus innovation plus outputs, has garnered international attention for its focus on long-term planning and innovation. United States, with its mix of federal oversight through the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, or FRC, and state-level regulation, 
the US offers a complex and diverse regulatory landscape. We'll explore how this multi-layered approach impacts KPIs and utility performance. Australia, the Australian Energy Regulator, or AER, oversees a national electricity market spanning several states. We'll examine how Australia balances its vast geography, diverse energy resources, and commitment to renewable energy in its regulatory framework. India, as one of the world's fastest growing electricity markets, India faces unique challenges. We'll look at how the Central Electricity Regulatory Commission, or CRC, uses KPIs to drive improvements in a rapidly evolving sector, European Union. While individual member states have their own regulators, the EU provides overarching directives and goals. We'll focus on general trends across member states and how EU-wide initiatives are shaping national level KPIs. Each of these jurisdictions has its own unique approach, shaped by its energy market structure, policy goals, regulatory history, and specific challenges. By comparing these different approaches, we can gain valuable insights into best practices and innovative solutions in transmission utility regulation. Metric categories. Throughout this series, we'll be exploring 10 key metric categories in depth. Reliability. How consistently does the network provide power without interruptions? This category includes metrics like System Average Interruption Duration Index SIEDI and System Average Interruption Frequency Index SIEIFI. Availability, the readiness of the network to transmit power when needed. This often includes measures of transmission, circuit availability and constraints. Efficiency. How well does the utility minimize losses in power transmission? This typically focuses on technical losses in the transmission system. Infrastructure development, the utility's ability to build and upgrade network infrastructure. This includes metrics on the timely completion of projects and the addition of new transmission capacity. Environmental impact, how the utility's operations affect the environment. This increasingly important category may include metrics on carbon emissions, integration of renewable energy and land use. Customer service, the quality of service provided to network users. This can include metrics on connection times, complaint resolution and stakeholder satisfaction. Financial performance, the utility's financial efficiency and sustainability. This often includes metrics on cost efficiency, return on investment and financial health indicators. Innovation, how the utility adopts and develops new technologies and practices. This may include metrics on R&D spending, pilot project implementation and adoption of new technologies. Market facilitation. The utility's role in enabling a competitive electricity market. This can include metrics on transmission congestion, market liquidity and non-discriminatory access. Cyber security. The utility's ability to protect against digital threats. This emerging category is gaining importance as grid systems become more interconnected and digitalized. Preview of upcoming videos. In the following videos, we'll do a deep dive into each category, comparing how different jurisdictions approach them. We'll explore the specific metrics used within each category, how these metrics are measured and reported, the rationale behind choosing these particular metrics, how the metrics are used to incentivize or penalize utility performance, real-world examples of how these metrics have driven improvements in utility operations, challenges and controversies surrounding specific metrics, and emerging trends and potential future developments in each category. Why this matters. Understanding these KPIs is crucial for several reasons, for policymakers and regulators, informs the design of effective regulatory frameworks, helps in setting appropriate targets and incentives, and allows for evidence-based policymaking. For utility companies, guides, operational and investment decisions helps in identifying areas for improvement and provides a framework for demonstrating performance to regulators and stakeholders. For consumers and advocacy groups, provides tools to hold utilities accountable, helps in understanding the factors that influence electricity prices and reliability, and empowers informed participation in regulatory processes. For investors, offers insights into utility performance and regulatory risks, helps in assessing the long-term viability and growth potential of utilities, and provides a basis for comparing investment opportunities across different markets. For technology providers and innovators, 
highlights areas where new solutions are needed and provides a framework for demonstrating the value of new technologies. As we face global challenges like climate change, the need for energy security and the transition to a low carbon economy, effective regulation of transmission utilities becomes ever more critical. These KPIs are at the heart of ensuring our power grids are reliable, efficient and fit for the future. Conclusion. We hope this introduction has given you a clear overview of the importance of KPIs in transmission utility regulation and what to expect from this series. In our next video, we'll explore reliability and availability metrics, exploring how different jurisdictions ensure that the lights stay on and that the grid is ready to meet demand. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of electricity regulation. We look forward to exploring these crucial topics with you in the coming videos. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to address, please leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next video and subscribe to catch the entire series. Until next time.